Welcome to the 2016 NCHA Futurity. I'm here with Jodie McLaughlin, the winner of the Limited Non-Pro. Jodie rode something to believe in and scored a 222. Congratulations to you, Jodie. Thank you. Awesome score. Yes, thank you. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> so how were you feeling coming into the event? Uh, you know, I was taken by surprise a little bit. I wasn't just planning on showing her in the non-pro. Uh, unfortunately, we had a little tough luck in the open. And so I decided to show her in the non-pro. And we just, we really didn't have any great draws going in. So we just kind of survived every round to ad- advance as much as we could. And the semifinals, uh, we, you know, we led the semifinals with a 17 and a half. And she was really good. And right after the buzzer, I kind of had a cow that I could really ride her. And I told Brett, I said, wow, that was really fun right after the buzzer. And so then when I had a good draw in the finals, he told me, you know, just come cutting and have fun. And so uh, we could really drive up and just have fun there. And she showed off. So how much had you ridden the horse before you actually decided to show it? You know, I rode her a lot early on as far as I got to work her some because we thought she would be my non-pro horse. But then she was so nice that she was definitely Brett's open horse. And, uh, you know, I've ridden her all the time, getting her ready and everything, but I had not worked her a great deal before this, so. Now, he had a bit of bad luck um, showing, but um, you've obviously done extremely well with with something to believe in. Tell us a little bit about her. Uh, She's been incredible to us. Uh, We've had her since the very first saddle was put on her as a two-year-old. Buffalo Ranch, uh, bred and owned her, and Brett worked for Buffalo Ranch, so he trained her. She was put in the two-year-old sale twice, uh, once at the Derby when they did their dispersal sale, once at the Futurity. Uh, She no-sold both times, and we purchased her after the Futurity last year for ourselves, and we just have known all along that she was an incredible horse, and, um, you know, we got to show it off finally. She lived up to her name. She's definitely been something to believe in. You had a big field. Um, you came out in the second set. Um, I guess Peter Ryan had kind of set the, the benchmark at the 219 right off the, the bat. Uh, what were you feeling about, you know, what you really had to do? You know, I was really confident going in. I just kind of treated it more like a weekend event, and I've gotten to show a lot of weekends this year. And so I just wanted to drive way up, and I knew my mare would do the rest of it for me. I just needed to get her shown and get her cut clean. And so that's what we did. You know, our first cow was a little more cow than what we thought it was going to be, but she never missed it. She just went off across there and stopped every single time and came back through. And, you know, that cow could have been one that we had had a lot of misses and a lot of penalties there, but she never missed it a single time. So it was more credit earning than anything. Now, you had the semifinals the same day. Uh, How much of a concern is it to know that you have to show a horse twice in the same day? You know, um, when I looked at the schedule, I was a little concerned about that. But fortunately, this little mare that we call Kate, she has got a great motor on her. So it really wasn't a problem. She has been laying down most of the day today. She's getting a good little rest. But she really, she took it great. Uh, You wouldn't think she was a three-year-old, honestly. The way she's just physically fit and mature you would think she's four or five at least. So it really wasn't a problem for her. Now, this is not the first title you've won in the Will Rogers. You have an amateur title from about 10 years ago, is that right? years ago. I've only shown in the Will Rogers twice since 2006 uh, when I won the Derby on Platinum Bob. And the last 10 years, I've not gotten to show a whole lot. I've been raising babies and helping Brett and starting a business. So... Sounds like he needs to put you on some more horses. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I was glad to be back in the show pen this year. I was very blessed. And I bet all your students are very proud of you too. Yes. Uh, I have a wonderful staff at school that took care of things while I was out showing last week in the world finals and then in the three-year-old and then this week in the finals. And they, uh, they sent me pictures constantly of them watching the webcast on the big screen. So it was fun to see. <laughs> hey, well, congratulations. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. I appreciate it.